you ask me to give the Amazon show them another try and I decide to do it so I could give it a proper review. Now, let me start off by saying very quickly that the cinematography of the show is top tier. There is no doubt anyone looking at this that the creator and the crew behind this are not extremely talented in storytelling and in technique. The female main character was annoying at first. I love the father. The father is my favorite character. Maybe it's just his disposition. And I think his wife is really, really beautiful. They've gone through a lot of shit. And the thing is, it's, it's gonna sound crazy. I agree with a lot of people, or at least understand where they're coming from when they said the show shouldn't have been made. Of course, artists have the creative right to make whatever the story they want to tell. But the reason why I agree with where other people are coming from is because I don't think in the way this was told in its entirety was the right way to do it, especially not in current time. Now there was an article that was written because this person basically says things that I want to say, like I'm thinking about it right now and I didn't script this, but I found this and this basically says most of what I'm thinking. So I'll be responding to this article and adding in my own thoughts because she basically says everything that I'm thinking. And it's not just her, there are a lot of black people who looked at this show and were like, what the fuck is this? Why, why is this being made? So her article's title is Opinion. Them is despicable and should be removed from streaming services immediately. Now I don't think the show should be banned. Like I said, people have to have creative expression and freedom to do so, but I don't think people should be supporting things like this being made especially when you have an all-black cast and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So she starts off by saying where do we as creatives draw the line between art and film? Them would fall under the latter which means film. Them Amazon's newest horror series which was released this past Friday stands as a large reminder of why of the way people of color sometimes participate in their own degradation and this was by Angel uh, Angelica Jade Bastien at Vulture. He goes on to saying I should have known that the show would be utter bullshit when I realized that Lena Waite, the woman behind Queen Slim, was also behind the foolishness that is them. There is this notion in Hollywood and beyond that having black artists behind the lens will somehow change the narrative of the content we see on screen. Sometimes it's just the opposite and seemingly worse. Black people can never just exist in film. There always has to be some type of pain or struggle created by our own. Black pain and struggle portrayals are that much more degrading and it shows in series like them. And I totally agree agree to this. I was listening to a Kevin Samuels podcast the other day and he was talking to some woman about something similar, about shows and how African Americans are portrayed on screen. And this woman was saying, oh, it's white people's fault, it's their fault. And Kevin Samuels put her in her place like, no, 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 no. Because if people weren't eating it up, which if you look at the kind of portrayals of black people in Hollywood, it's only a niche group that will buy and watch that. And what is the niche group? African Americans. Kevin Samuels said, if that weren't the case and people weren't buying it, they would realize there's no money to be made in it and they would stop making them. But obviously, people are buying it. So if people are consuming a lot about something, it means that's what they agree with or that's what they want to see. Notice how a lot of other races that have suffered under some shit are not always making film and television shows centering around their suffering at the hands of whoever, i.e. Jewish people. I have watched a lot of Jewish shows, TV, movies, and maybe at some time it was like that because, you know, it was painful. But as this new generation is here and they want to move on with their lives as most people do, who have been through some shit, I can hardly find something like that. You'll find some movies that are like that, but most of what I see with Jewish people on TV, it's either some family drama or people just being characters, which is what it's supposed to be. No one's ever gonna move past this whole prejudice thing if the focus is always ham-fisted. It's like having gone through something traumatic and your friends or people you surround yourselves with are reminding you every two seconds. Remember when that happened to you? Remember when that happened to you? Oh yeah, like the time that happened to you, right? Oh my god, you should still be salty over that. Remember when that happened to you? The person is never allowed to grow or move past the trauma and make themselves better because it's almost like you want to keep them sick and in PTSD. You don't want them to get better. I'm not saying you should forget about the past, but if we want the nation to move ahead, constantly opening up old wounds and creating division is not the way to
to do it. And somehow, people by doing this who make these TV shows think, oh, we're sticking it to the people that did that in the past. And causing the new generation to have this warped way of thinking in that everyone who looks like a specific skin color is somehow responsible for shit that people hundreds of years ago did to people who were not you. We learn from our history, we appreciate our history, and those who have sacrificed their lives to make our place in existence better. But this shit, as this woman explains, is not helping. She goes on to saying, Created by black writers and producers, Them is not only a flagrant copy of Jordan Peele's cinematic creativity, but a violent display of racism and horror. For the show to be created by African-American people, the subject matter itself is vigorously anti-black. The imagery throughout the series is nothing short of horrific and not in a way that would keep you wanting more. The show gets so graphic, it makes you want to turn it off completely. The show spans over 10 days in the year 1953, following the Emery family and their journey from North Carolina to Compton and Los Angeles. The show chronicles the difficulty of a black family moving into an all-white neighborhood and the terrorism they face on a daily basis. The terrorism the Emery family faces isn't mild or bearable enough for television. The show includes gollywogs hanging from nooses along the Emery's port, supernatural undertones, this, and even the death of a newborn baby via a game of cat in the bag. Who would need this to be on TV? It's not just that. I could deal with things being graphic, but that is the entirety of the show. And as some pe person called it, they called it torture prawn. Because for some sick shits who actually would want to see this, this is, man, this is heaven for them. Yes, let's watch them suffer for some more. One of the comments I saw had a point. They were saying how it's so funny how dark skinned people just come out of the woodworks when it has to do with a movie or TV show that's full of them suffering. Another person said, I love seeing beautiful black people on screen, but I can't with consent, with constant trauma and suffering. We know what happened and still happens, but I just can't sit through an entire series centered around trauma and racism. But the cast looks amazing. I just want to see us as royalty and the strong warriors that we once were and still are. We have too many stories to tell. Yet we fall back to either hood movies, racism, or slavery. I just can't keep seeing these same images. And the thing is, whatever we see on TV is what we're going to identify with. And I think that's why so many people love Black Panther. Because not only was it representation in the MCU finally come to TV or come to movies, but the thing is, the ancestors, people in Africa, people who actually lived in empires and stuff back there, even though there were a lot of tribal wars, people lived the way humans were supposed to live. Free. Whenever you have Norwegian stories being told or Irish stories being told most of them or yeah about suffering but not like this show they show enough suffering to get the point across and then they show them rising up on top and how this show ended was not this great thing oh we're gonna stick it to the white man yeah now you just did all that shit and now you're going to jail I was surprised because I'm there thinking the entire time as the show was ending and yes this is spoilers with everything that you've done oh wow the family's together but it ends right there. Don't act like the mother and father aren't gonna go to jail after killing white people. The daughter's not gonna go to juvie and the littlest one is gonna get taken away from her parents. This was not a happy ending. It wasn't a happy ending. So not only are they tortured, but now their freedom is gonna get taken away from all of that because they went through some mental stress because a lot of this is also PTSD, grieving, and mental instability. And one of the things that got me so upset was, I said it before, every single person person with white skin is evil in this. Even the people that are perceived initially as good people turn out to be bad. And I'm like, okay, the Joker type character, which I could appreciate them using a black villain, which was the demon version of the father. Oh no, 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 no. He couldn't be black either. Yeah, that character, he's black, but then he isn't because, you know, you can't have one black person in this entire show be evil or be a piece of shit, and you can't have one white person be a good person. Any white person who is not actively violent is either complicit or just scared to get in trouble, not because they know in their hearts of hearts that hurting another fucking human being is wrong. But then that ending of the show was just like, really, bruh, really? You couldn't just, what? Like, it's not even a real fucking in person you had to make that shit white too really bitch really this entire time like mm, <laughs>
It's just such in poor taste to me. This should happen. This should happen. But realistically, not every single white person is a fucking demon. And I think it just paints a horrible narrative. Just like not every Chinese person is an angel or a villain. Or every Jewish person is an angel or a villain. Or every black person is an angel or a villain. I'm just sick and tired of seeing the shit. And a lot of other black people are sick and tired of seeing the shit too. So she goes on to saying, the show is so visually terrible, I couldn't stomach watching the entire series. By the fifth episode, I was completely disgusted. Black directors and producers need to rid themselves of the notion that content like this is pushing the envelope. It's just bad television. Black people are surrounded every day by the trauma of black death, especially with recent cases like Dante Wright and George Floyd. But shows like them only aggravate that trauma. Circling back to my initial point of people of color inflicting pain on their own, it's very scary to think about the mind of that black person who created such a show. We have to get rid of this idea that this type of content makes for good television or that it's even digestible for their audience. It's just bad television all around. Them isn't as thought-provoking as the creators may think it is. The show is despicable and should have never been created. I agree with that. I don't think it should be banned now that it is created, but like I said before, not as eloquently as she did, but every ethnicity has to shine in who they are as individuals. If we constantly let trauma define who we are, then that's all we'll ever be identified with. And people don't want to be around people who are always identifying with trauma. They say that misery loves company. That is true. Other people like to make other people who aren't miserable very miserable. But as a result, people who aren't miserable or don't want to be miserable are not going to want to put themselves with people like that. You can identify with certain things that happen. You can agree that shitty things happen in life. But if you let that identify who you are and you constantly are putting that at the forefront like I am my suffering or I am the shit that happens to me, that is not going to empower you. People are always going to be sorry for you and pity you and handing out things to you and you never can become that empirical royalty that a lot of people want to get in touch with. Human beings at their core are pretty freaking awesome no matter what color or ancestry you have or come from. An example of this is when I watch shows, I call them shows, but when I watch videos about animals who have suffered horrible things. It starts off like, like that so people can tell what the background of this animal was. But then the animal is seen as happy. And guess what happens after we get the happy ending? Nobody wants to see the animal suffer again. Nobody wants to go back to the beginning and be like, let me look at this dog when it was suffering and in pain. No one wants to see that shit. We know that it happened. We are aware that this is where the animal came from. But the animal pushed on, found people who loved it. And you know what the thing is? These dogs and these animals that recover, they are the ones that make themselves better. If they didn't have a will to live and then live in the moment and appreciate life because they're way more simple than us stupid humans are, they would have let that trauma define them and they would have eventually died or kept suffering. But then you see the dog nice and fat and happy and everyone is glorifying the work that other people put in but what the dog had done to overcome that. And nobody wants to go back and see the dog suffer. People at their core don't like to see people suffer as human beings. And I know it sounds crazy to some, but at our core as human beings, naturally we don't want to inflict suffering on other humans. Even if we're prejudiced against other humans because tribalism is a part of human nature, no matter what color you are, most people don't want to actively go out there and physically hurt someone else or put them through extreme, immense emotional turmoil. That is some sick shit. And I agree with this woman that it almost feels like this show or the mindset behind it is on par with that villain dude from Saw because it takes a special kind of person to come up with shit like this to constantly torture people and do it for the entirety of the runtime of this entire 10 episode show. It was disgusting. And people told me to go back and watch it so I could do a full review and blah, blah, blah. And I bit the bullet and took it. The director helps tell the story very well. Everyone's acting in the show was through the roof. But I don't think people look at a show like this and be like, Whoa, this show is amazing. Want to keep seeing more stuff like this? No, because which sick shit wants to see that? Which sick individual wants to wallow in the pain of somebody else? And not even... You, it's, you don't even go through all of that to come out on top and see the characters be happy. No, the bitch is going to jail. 
after everything they've been through, it's not even a happy fucking ending. No, I agree with this article, the person who wrote the article, we've got to do better. There are more stories for black people to tell than just slavery, slavery, prejudice, and prejudice. Like, that's not all black people are. And if you continue portraying them that way, as Kevin Samuel said, that's all people will ever see you as. So I agree, the show's been made, it is what it is, but we need to move on and do better. There are so many other stories to be told, and so many other black people that are untalented and have way more to offer than just, all we can do is suffer, that's all we're good for. No, 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 no. All I feel is disgust. I don't feel like there was any message being told here. I just, honestly, this feels like racial propaganda to me, if I'm being totally freaking honest. But anyway, somehow people are gonna try and come out the woodworks and say I'm the bad guy for some reason. But I'm not the one who made the show. Anyways, I watched it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Ulturi. You ask, we answer.